Hello, Froggy here, and today we'll be getting to the EAZ cat again. However, it's not quite as simple this time around. The EAZ has been streamlined a bit, with many internal areas of buildings blocked off, and unfortunately that includes the previously lightly blocked off cat statue. So the first thing we're going to want to do is break into this building here, and luckily there is a hole. It's not quite large enough to just jump through, but it's pretty easy to do a sparrow dismount breach through. And it's easiest to summon it a little bit to the side, then just rotate in and dismount off. The next breach is really annoying, so first I'm going to show you an easier one, which isn't useful, but it is kind of interesting. I was trying to do a sparrow breach here, and uh, it turns out that if you get far enough into the pinch spot that the sparrow breach would maybe happen, you will instead dismount breach up into this very strangely lit room. See that the ceiling is the only thing illuminated. As long as you left your sparrow, you can just go right back through the floor. Anyways, let's move on to the hard part. This next res breach is not fun. I actually delayed making the video because I was trying to find a better way, but I wasn't able to get the setup to be terribly consistent. We're going to be breaching up there, which you cannot get onto except by using a sparrow. Can't crouch jump, can't like thunder crash. This is pretty much the only way. But luckily you can get off pretty easily there. And then die. And with any luck, you'll spawn where you need to. I'd recommend lowering your light to make dying against the wall easier. So if you don't want to do the sparrow jump, uh Bachmanetti had the bright idea to stack some sparrows, and this works as an alternative. You might want to have uh, three people in here anyways. I would recommend just spotting sparrows on top of each other. It's a lot easier than we, what we were trying here, but this was our first attempt at this strategy, and uh, remarkably we actually got the breach with it too. So what you want to see when you respawn is a uh, little beam going across that has the line down the middle. Because that seems to be the only place that you can get through. If you go for the jumping method, I would recommend boosting and holding back to keep your nose pointed up. Once you're up, you can attempt the res breach. If you don't get it initially, I would recommend walking around a little bit up top. It is wide enough that you can actually set multiple spawn points, which means that you can shift them around a bit. You see I spawned on the left side there, and now I'm spawning on the right side. That was very nearly the correct position. So I'm just gonna walk around the edge here and shift my spawn point a little bit in the hopes that I will set one that will do a bit better because that was really close. Yeah, if I'm walking the perimeter can sometimes give you enough to get your alignment right. And ah there we go. I've tried this many times, and I'd say they probably make it out maybe 5% of the time, so don't get too disheartened if you don't get it your first couple goes. It's amazing how much of the building is actually outside of the map and connected to the underside of the island. If you drop down, you will probably hit a kill floor, so you'll want to kind of jump or fly over in this direction, and this is the structure that houses the cat. But 
luckily there is a little intangible service here and a very easy res bridge. I have not actually failed this one yet, so it is rather nice compared to the previous one. And we're in. And of course the cat statue is still there. Yeah, thanks to Salvo and Ace who helped identify the res breaches used here, and to uh, Bachmanetti who helped me find consistent ways to get a sparrow up. But yeah, Cat's still here, we're definitely not going to be doing anything this time around, and hopefully you can make it there in the last week of the Solstice event. <laughs> 